Yeah, please, but. Oh my god, he read it again. What's up, guys? We's back with Sucker for Love. And last time we went with, uh, I forget her real name, Missy, the uh, Yellow King. And apparently we got married. Um, so I think we can either get back with Lynetta and those thighs, or I think we might be able to trick both of them into dating us. So I feel like tricking both of them is probably a bad end. So I think we're going to try that today. But first I want to see if you can actually peek on Lynetta. No, you can't. Okay, good to know. All right, so I think to trick them, we have to do things in a certain order. So if I read this book. Uh, performing this ritual after Esner's masquerade will have consequences. Okay, so we need to do that one before the masquerade. The masquerade, okay, so that's her next one. Okay, so we need to do, oop, not this one. Put that, no, put that book away. So we need to do this one first. Da, da, da. If you see or hear something strange, it is not your imagination. Be ready, proceed in total darkness, no lights, no candles. Ensure their image appears in no way in posters or tapestries. Where ceremony, okay, so this one we need to do out here. Robes, tentacle mask, knife, okay, we're good. Oh, handsome. Oh, uh, yep, we probably got the tentacle phasey thing again, I'm guessing. I can't move again just like last time. Yep, we have the, the tentacles again. Hey, hey. <gasps> You're learning to control your eldritch mouth so soon? Um, I mean, it's the second time I've had it. Oh, oh, try saying something in Rillian. What's Rillian? Whatever that is. <gasps> oh, that's so sweet. You learned to say I love you. We must have been studying, huh? Yeah, totally. What? Well, in the vaulting would be a dangling participle error since you started the sentence with ya yeah instead of ya ya. I could know. And since you and I are intimate, you don't need the gin suffix. You don't need to be so formal with your girlfriend. Oh, so we are dating. I didn't realize that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. How do you speak human lang languages so well? Actually, most of us are hyper polyglots. You can't get people to worship you if you can't communicate with them. Oh, so you can speak multiple languages. English, Mandarin, Spanish, French, Arabic, ASL, Parcel Tongue, Elvish, Undercommon, Swedish. What's ASL? All languages are made up, darling. So ASL is just made up? Okay, I got it. All right, so now we got to figure out what our next ritual should be. That's blank page. Okay, the breakup page is torn out. That's good to know. So we now cannot break up. Okay. So next page. Eldritch Embrace. Very spur. Uh, hello? Yes, darling? I'm just checking, but uh, you haven't tampered with my book, right? What do you mean? The Eldritch Embrace spell, it looks a bit different from the uh, other rituals. <laughs> oh, strange! <laughs> yeah, strange. Oh, what's the use? You caught me. It's not a real ritual. No, it's not. What is it, then? I just... I see how hard you're pushing yourself to make it through these spells for my sake. Yes. I thought maybe you could use a break from the real rituals, so I could spoil you a little. You gonna crush my head like a watermelon? 
not even a quick one. A quick head crushing? Well, all right. I'll leave you to it then. Wait, I'm confused how much has happened. There's something I need to check on. It's probably nothing, but... Oh, okay, so you need to go check on something, that's why. Okay, I got it. You haven't seen anything strange lately, have you? Your sister? No. I've seen plenty of strange things lately. Other gods, a mouth on my hand. <laughs> I meant things beyond the usual strangeness. Like your sister? No. You haven't noticed anything watching you, have you? No. <sighs> Sorry. I guess I'm being the strange one, huh? Maybe just a little? I'll just be right back. Stay safe, okay? Okay. So does that now mean? Don't worry about these steps. All you have to do is give Lynetta a big ol' hug. Oh, that's sweet. Performing this ritual after Esther's banquet will have consequences. Okay, so we have to do the masquerade real quick. So, real quick, uh, we should probably take all the- Oh, I got the octopus head thingy stuck on my head. Okay, so. Um, backstage in the enclosed room with mirror prepare the host for the scene. Do we go? Okay, so we gotta put on the masquerade mask. Uh, the elegant robes and the ritual knife. I just took all of that stuff off of me. Except for that mask. I took my head off. That was stuck to my face. I'm confuzzled now. No, it's still stuck to my face. I am so confused. That looks really freaking weird. Oh, the mask won't stay on my face. It just keeps slipping off. Okay. I still have a kiss on my forehead. That's good to know. Okay. Hi. My... Aren't you in proper dress, dearest? I'm working on it. Jitters? Yeah, just a little shaky, you know. I'm nervous about going on stage. Dearest, you love your king, yes? Okay, that's a little weird. Yeah, um, yeah, sure, why not? And you would never lie to her, correct? Yeah, totally. Wouldn't dream of it. Then tell me, what happened to your face? What happened to whose face? What an unfortunate accident. And an even more unfortunate face. Okay. For now, we shall conceal that hideous visage of yours beneath the hood of your robe. Hopefully, this won't affect your performance. Yeah, 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 yeah. I should, I should still be able to do fine. And in the interest of not having further accidents, you will have my undivided attention from now on. Oh, yay. What does that you mean? You may express your gratitude to your king. Okay. Thank you, your highness. Oh, and dearest, one more thing. Yeah? I may not be as barbaric as my sister, but I assure you I can be twice as dreadful. Do not give me cause to demonstrate. Okay, got it. Okay. We already did the play, so I'm just going to skip through it real quick, and we'll figure out what happens afterwards, okay? An immaculate performance, okay. dearest. Yes, it was a very good play. There's only one more scene to reenact, and then this world will be mine. Oh, that's good. Not, maybe, I don't know. No, it's not. The ending is actually quite hilarious. Yes, I know how the play ends. I'm gonna die. Well, at least you're gonna try to kill me, but it didn't work last time. Is it gonna work this time? Your character is slain, and all of his wishes come true in yes, an unexpected way. In his ambitions of greed, influence, and fame, he dies penniless, alone, and infamous. Yeah, I know. Comedy is merely tragedy from far enough away, dearest. Okay, got it. I anticipated that you might get cold feet after learning of your character's fate. I mean, we already did it, so... I mean... Would that been a different reality that happened in? I'm confused now. However... Touch of stage fright. Okay, I got it. So, 
For your sake, dearest. To the fucking scene. I got it. Okay, so now we need a quick switch again. So this is before the banquet. We need to do this one before the banquet. So what's her next play? That would be the banquet. Okay, cool. Got it. So we need to quick close the window and get rid of her. Bye. Have a nice time. I still kind of wish I could get my head crushed between all of those tentacles. See you later. Time to read the chant. Delicious, just as perfect as last time. As long as we keep finding each other, we can keep doing this forever. Do you remember the last time we did this? When you couldn't speak back to me? Uh, which part of it? So, you know what happens next, right? Uh, is this where I wake you up and you start destroying the entire reality? One last ritual. Then we say goodbye again. Oh, well, that sucks. As always, take as much time as you need. I'll wait as long as it takes, darling. Oh, that's nice. Seems like last time you were kind of rushing me through it. Ooh, ooh, waking up would be so exhausting. Yes, it is. It's very exhausting getting out of bed. You know me so well. Do I? But don't try anything while I'm sleeping this time. Got it. I know what you did. What did I do? Don't look so surprised. I'm still confused. Right before our date would have ended, you betrayed me. Oh, this is the twist where I dumped her, right? Don't think that there aren't consequences between realities, darling. Got it. I've already dealt with that pesky breakup spell in your book. Yes, I, I saw sure that. Noticed. Yeah, I did, I did, I did. So just take the straight and narrow path of loyalty in front of you. We can keep doing this forever and ever. And ever? Ever. Yeah, I got it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Can you get the lights for me again, darling? Yeah, sure. Okay, so now she's asleep in the bed. And we now have to... Do something else? Um... So when she's now asleep. Have a ritual knife on your person. Okay, so this is the final pledge. So I can either pledge myself to her. Err. We do the banquet. Food preparation. Prepare for scene three by doing the following. Retrieve ingredients from the fridge. Red fire candles allow the king into the room. Do not make a mistake or a hungry, unvisited guest may arrive. Ah, oh, that's good to know. So we have that. I don't think I need the turtle. Okay, this is gonna be weird. This is really weird. Um, yeah, just don't look at the bed, okay? Just, just don't do that, please. Okay, we got this. I already used up my supplies to cook for Lynetta. What? All that is left is leftovers from her dark communion. You must be kidding. You were seriously planning on serving this to me? Maybe. Please, do. Um, I had dinner already. Mere leftovers for a king? How humiliating! Well, maybe you should take yourself down the step. If you would serve your king leftovers, who, pray tell, did you find worthy of the feast? Uh, myself. I ate it. You ate an entire feast on your own because you were feeling peckish? Yes, yes I did. So, the person you think deserves to eat before the king does is you? Yes. Such self-idolatry is a serious crime against me. God, king, and heiress to Carcosa. And what does that mean? Conveniently, the punishment for blasphemy and treason is the same. Death. Well, you were going to kill me anyways. <sighs> what a shame. I thought you had some potential, but your 
You're a totally worthless servant in the end. Um, Lynetta, can I have some help? You're a pretty heavy sleeper. What if I did something to uh, appease you? Then could the crime be forgiven? I am God King. All is as I say. If I wish for you to be pardoned, then it shall be so. Uh, what does that mean? <laughs> Perhaps if you grovel on your hands and knees, I can let you off lightly. Oh, okay. We don't need Lena for this one. I'm a lonely worm, forgive me, but I don't let but don't let me off without harsh punishment first. Why did I say that? But you don't you think you said that too willingly? Um um I don't have any words for that. I'm just checking, but you're not enjoying this, right? Maybe a little. Lower than what? This is what you were about to try to feed me, right? Then this will be your trough, swine! What does that mean? Open wide! Oh, you want me to eat it? I'm fine with that. That doesn't look horrible. I forgive you if you make a mess on my gown. Oh, okay. Okay, so um, as I'm clicking through this random thing where it's my thoughts, apparently whatever this thing is, it's really good. Away that sour expression, dearest. The next act is about to begin, and everyone will be watching. Okay, got it. Okay, so this is the final pledge, right? And then we have the eclipse, right? Okay, so I, I had to stop there for a second because I don't know which one I was supposed to do. If I'm supposed to do the king in yellow, which is the end of hers, or if I go back to Lynetta's and do the final reading. But I went back and I checked and there's six endings for this one. So there's three for Lynetta and there's three for what's her nuts who keeps yelling at me in the yellow dress with the tentacles that I wanted to crush my head. Wait, but um. So I think, oh, this is hard. I thought it was just going to be one bad ending. Maybe I read Lynetta's first and then we check the other one. You have the ritual knife on your person. Chant five times to fill the heart. Okay, so we need the knife. Probably don't need any of that other stuff. Okay, one. Two. And a five. Sweet. Okay, part of her dialogue just disappeared. I need to talk to you first. Okay. What is it? What if? What if? What if we didn't complete the final ritual? And did what? What if I stayed to sleep longer so we could have a little more time together? Oh, that'd be nice. Just you and me, lingering in a doomed world, alone. Like an endless dream come true. That sounds nice. Do I still get my head crushed between those thighs? Doesn't that sound nice? That depends. Are you agreeing to the thigh thing? Uh, what? Did I just finish it? We were finally going to be together forever! What happened? We would have been so happy! This reality is already doomed. You have to. Okay. If you keep a dream going on forever, it has to become a nightmare eventually, or worse, it becomes reality. Take a look at the world around us and take a good look at me is this what you want our relationship to be like <laughs> oh, it's not. But, but, 
dream of being with you forever. I'm not ready to say goodbye again. Why can't we just stay for good? This just, this, this took a weird turn I wasn't ready for. Um, what? Why can our time together only be big meetings and long farewells? I don't know. What if we're saying goodbye forever? Uh, okay, I got it. If I'm your dream guy, then there's no way this is goodbye forever. It's no big deal. You can always dream of me again. Darling, please don't go. I can stay asleep a little longer. I can. Okay. I'll be right back. Is that her real body? <laughs> Harley. Thank you for giving me a dream wonderful enough to remember clearly. What? Okay, so I just realized something. There's six endings, right? And right now with us treating Lynetta before we do um, uh, duh, duh, this uh, Missy stuff, Missy now has two broken hearts out of three. So if I do Missy's ending, we'll we get a bad ending? So let's try hers now. Smiles, dearest, smiles! Aren't you proud of yourself? Um, I'm not sure what I should be of myself anymore. To ensure you stay in character, call it method acting. Yes, I know. Me. Stabbing someone while in a play is not method acting. Oh, with sweet sorrow, the curtain falls, and the show begins. Okay. The stage is now set for you to inscribe the yellow sign. Oh, that's right. There's still another step. Okay, yeah, let's quick do that. Behold okay. the yellow sign. Become my slave, my eternal captive audience. All right. So now what? Oh, Are you still mad at me? You are wondering about those smooches, huh? Yeah, just a little bit, and and some thigh crushing head action. Tell me. Does a servant that betrays his master only to come crawling back to collect his reward deserve anything? I don't know. <laughs> You'll get nothing from me. Well, I take everything from you. Yeah, that does make sense. None. Yeah, okay. Not even two? If I wasn't going to give you one, why would you think I'd give you two? You never know. What's with that defiant tone? You're supposed to be under my control now. Am I? Why, yes, I am. So, so, no, I'm, I'm confused now. So in a way, the planet star, Karka, whatever, is also you, right? Well, yes, but what could you possibly mean by asking that? I don't know. It means I just figured out a way to get the smooches you promised me, even if it means taking this whole planet with me. What did I just... In the event that stage lights fail mid-play, perform this ritual to bring Carcass closer to your current location. Only use in case of an emergency and only cast it once. Oh. If you're only supposed to cast that once, Carcosa is close enough. Did I just destroy the entire planet, bringing the sun closer so I can kiss the sun? Don't cast it again. What are you doing casting that spell repeatedly like that? That spell only brings Carcosa within a dangerous distance to the Earth. But why do something so pointless? Oh my god. If you keep casting it, Carcosa will move closer and closer to Earth. Yeah, I get it. I, I, I know exactly what he's doing. Don't tell me. 
Are you trying to smooch my planet itself? Maybe. Heavens below. You're serious? I think he is. Come now, we can be reasonable about this. Maybe. If you crash Carcosa into the Earth, it'll be an extinction-level event for humanity. Eh, yeah, I got I'll it. I'll lose every member of my court that I worked so hard to steal from Lunetta. But there's no need to do anything drastic. You'll die instantly. Probably. Dying once or twice is a small price to pay for smooches. Wait! Don't you let... Oh, whoops, sorry, I accidentally clicked. Um, yeah, we had a good time, sort of. That was short. Uh, please. Yeah, please what? Oh my god, he read it again. God, he summoned that thing like right inside the earth. That's freaking hilarious. Oh my god, we're gonna have to figure out all the bad endings too. This is funny. Well, guys, if you like this video, make sure you leave a like on it. And uh, if there's any games you want to see me play, leave them down in the comments. And if you're not a subscriber and you like watching my stuff, uh, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell icon so you know when I uh, upload new stuff. Because we're going to have to come back and play this more. Because we got to find Lynetta's bad ending. I'm pretty sure there's going to be like a so-so ending. So, yeah, we gotta we got to come back and play some more. This is going to be fun. Bye. I love you.